Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a walkthrough of how I wrapped the hood of my 2008 Subaru Outback in this vivid black micro stealth camouflage which they released earlier this year. Um, it's a 2020 line, it's their one of their new vinyls that they just recently released. Um, it's called, again, their black micro stealth camo uh, camouflage. Uh, they released a couple other camouflage types, medium black um, camouflage and then a forged carbon fiber so as you can see what I've done so far is I have a sheet big enough to cover the hood across the going up and down the hood and left and right from the hood and I used anchors there or magnets to anchor one side there so I can unroll the uh, the sheet and get it generally centered over the hood to ensure I have full coverage over the sides of the hood over the top of the hood where the uh, by the windshield side and on the front of hood by the bumper and grill side. So now that I've got it pretty much centered where I want it to be, uh, I'm just checking it over there as you can see, making sure I have full coverage uh, across all the sides. I'm going to go get a, uh, a knife or a back slitter cutter here, in this case a knife, to cut off the excess. And the reason I'm cutting off some of this excess, in this case right now by the headlight, um, is so that I don't have so much extra vinyl while I'm trying to wrap this once I peel off the backing paper um, that will basically be grabbing on to different things like the headlight or other parts of the bumper or the grill and then I'll just be fighting the vinyl. So I'm trimming off a pretty decent amount there um, as the with the curvature of the hood there. Um, and But I am also leaving about two inches or so past the uh, in this case the edge of the hood there on the front the next thing I'm going to check out uh, is going to be on the back side there um, trim that out finding the back of the hood and leaving again about two inches uh, because you can see how much vinyl goes up onto the windshield and if anybody's wrapped uh, hoods before or near glass uh, you'll you probably know that once vinyl the adhesive hits glass because of the high surface energy it likes to grab onto that glass really hard so with that much excess vinyl hitting onto the glass, I'll be fighting the vinyl once uh, if it once I unroll the uh, or take off the backing paper from the vinyl itself. So now I've got the the top and um, the windshield side and the grill side of the hood trimmed out. Just going back over again, making sure I have full coverage. And what I'm going to do is fold this in half because I'm doing this solo. Now there's a couple ways fold this in half in in order to uh, prepare to peel the backing. Now a couple ways you can do this, you can do it the way I'm doing it right now um, which is basically I folded it in half and I'm peeling off the backing, half of the backing, or you can start to peel um, on one corner, tack it down, reinforce it with some magnets and then comp continue to peel the whole thing. Now I'm doing it this way simply because um, I'm doing it solo, but two, this is a new uh, a new vinyl release from Vivid and um, it looks similar as far as the type of material and thickness to their True R XPO series um, True R carbon fiber vinyl which was pretty sticky and tacky. In this case it's, it's not very tacky at all. Vivid has apparently or seemingly uh, revised their adhesive and it's one of the things I really noticed about this is it's super low tack. See how I'm able to lay it down and then pick it back up really easily like I'm making the bed, uh, making my bed sheets on the hood there. With the True R carbon fiber I would be fighting that as soon as it touched uh, particularly because I'm doing this in my garage which is not climate controlled. It is I think that day in my garage it was 85 degrees and vivid adhesives tend to be or are um, heat activated adhesives. And so what I've done there basically is I tried to set it up and glass it out a little bit and I'm tacking down the middle. Now remember I said earlier uh, about a minute ago that what I discovered was with this new line that it's very low tack and so when I snap up the vinyl here in a second um, even though I pressed down the vinyl it popped right off. That's that's how low tack. Um, now Part of it, it's my fault. I did squeegee it down, but I didn't squeegee it down very hard. Again, because of the feel and look of this vinyl, I was thinking Vivid True R uh, carbon fiber vinyl, which was very, which is a much higher tack and holds down a lot harder. Um, whereas this one is not. Uh, and so what I'm doing is basically resetting the hood there, and then I'm gonna 
squeegee it down. You can see I brought those magnet back, magnets back to get everything back in place and lined up. And now I'm squeegeeing down the center and I'm squeegeeing it down a little bit harder this time to make sure that um, when I do snap up the vinyl that uh, with the backing paper off, that I won't do the same thing again. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a few magnets down on the side that has paper on it still just to make sure. Okay, so you can see that because I squeegeed even harder this time on that side uh, in the center hinge that I created, it did not pop up. So what I'm doing now is I'm glassing out, and if you're not familiar with the term glassing, basically I'm smoothing out or pulling the vinyl in different directions or triangular directions to, to make it smooth and lay it down. So you can see there how when I pulled it, it became smooth and it looks like it's almost done being laid out. Um, I'm just doing some adjustments right there. Um, tacking up, tacking it down with my squeegee, but basically glassing is you're trying to get the vinyl as smooth as possible before actually applying it via squeegee uh, and or heat um, uh, onto the substrate or the surface that you're applying to. So again, I'm just glassing things out a little bit more as I proceed to go across the hood um, towards the driver's side fender there. Now, one of the things about this particular hood is uh, once I get closer to the edge there or closer to the fender, there is actually a fairly deep recessed channel in this hood. And so what I'm doing is I'm working the vinyl up to the edge of that channel. And before it drops off, um, I'm going to set it up so that I can then feed it in. In the meantime, since I got the side of the hood done, what I'm doing is I'm glassing out the front area, bringing that down and getting it set up. And again, glassing it out to make it smooth. So think about it as like you're making your bed. Uh, your bed sheets and when you pull, you know you kind of flip up the sheets and you pull on it a little bit while it's up in the air to kind of smooth it out so that your bed sheets are nice and smooth when they land and then you smooth it out on your bed so kind of the same general concept here it's a little different because you're also stretching the vinyl at the same time if you need to uh, and so what i'm doing is because i'm on the part that i'm working on there or was working on there there was kind of rounded and curved you start to get a little bit of fingers so you got to work at it a little bit more a little bit of stretching and then eventually maybe a little bit of heat to assist so there you can see that what i've done is i'm starting to lift up the vinyl because i've reached that channel in the hood and so i'm lifting it up so that i could feed the vinyl down into that channel versus uh, stretching the vinyl over across the channel itself and then stretching it and heating it into the channel by pushing it so i lifted it up was able to feed some in and then um continue on you can say i went down to about where the hood starts to curve down and so now i'm going to get a little bit of heat to assist me in feeding this into the channel smoothing out wrinkles i'm using low heat in this case on my um, heat gun there i'm lifting it up lifting up the vinyl as you can still see and i'm lifting up and holding up so that i could feed the vinyl down into that channel versus trying to uh, basically push it in and stretch it into that channel which causes undue tension or unnecessary tension and stress on the vinyl in that area which could cause the, uh, the vinyl adhesive failing a little bit later and popping out of that channel so i'm just continuing to work uh, along that making sure that it's fed in really well all the way down into the bottom of the channel or the v uh, the valley of the channel there now that I've reached the bottom and I've made sure there's no air bubbles, what I'm doing is I'm lifting it up still and then feeding vinyl on the opposite side of that channel that then goes up back up to the hood. And then once I reach the top part where it's flat again of the hood, I'll just smooth it on out and continue to apply the vinyl on the smooth side of the hood there next, which you can see I'm setting that up and I'm giving a little bit of tension as I go as I went up the hood and I'm setting up the corner there just a little bit. So once I've done that, you can see all I'm doing now is since I've made it past that channel, I'm just smoothing things out to the um, to the fender side there, and I'm actually wrapping it and applying it uh, over the hood, over the gap between the hood and the fender, and then onto the fender itself. And what I'm doing is trying to make sure I set it up so I can have a nice, good, clean cut. I'm at a point where the wrinkles are a little bit too much there, so I'm adding a little bit of heat to help soften up the film relax a little bit and allowed me to kind of to give it a little bit of a stretch to get those wrinkles out and glass out the vinyl and so you can see i'm at a point in the hood where it starts to curve downward and that's where you'll start to see those fingers are wrinkling and so basically you can see what i'm doing is i'm stretching out the vinyl just a little bit around those curves there so that those fingers go away and it smooths down and then um, using heat as i need to uh, to soften the vinyl i'm not 
I, again, I had the settings on very low. I'm not trying to superheat the vinyl and I'm just trying to warm it up essentially so that I can, it becomes a little bit more malleable, a little bit more compliant as far as stretching and conforming around surfaces. You don't want to heat too much and stretch too much because then you'll, you run the risk of overstretching, um, which then once the, once the vinyl is laid down and heat hits it again, because of the vinyl's memory effect, once heat hits it, it'll shrink back. Um, so again, I've finished that up and I'm applying a little bit of heat now that I've got done. I'm applying a little bit of heat here into the channel to make sure that there's no bubbles or areas that I missed. I'm heating up around the, um, the curved area there. And basically I'm using heat to check to make sure or see if I missed any areas um, as far as uh, air bubbles or parts or pockets that I, that I left. All right, so now that that side of the hood is done, it's time to go ahead and peel off the backing paper for the other side, which you can see all I did was flop it over the side there. And then I will um, flop the vinyl, the, the vinyl without the backing paper back over. And kind of the same thing here, you can see I'm gonna flip it up like I'm making a bed, flipping it up and I'm pulling pretty hard actually to make glass there, if you can't tell. Um, using my body, what you saw me probably leaning back as I was tugging. So I was using the weight of my body to assist. Um, so now that I've got the center hinge pretty flat and pretty classed out, I'm going to go ahead and start squeegeeing that and to lock it down. You can see that I was given a little bit of tension there where the hood drooped or started to curve down towards the front and glass that out. Now I'm moving up towards the top. I hit an air bubble there, so I'm just lifting it up to work that out and continuing to squeegee on. And so on this side, essentially, I will be moving, uh, basically doing the exact same process I did on the other side, just headed towards this side. So you can see I'm just lifting up and glassing things out a little bit, smoothing it. There's wrinkles towards the bottom. That's fine because that's the curved area. Then I'll address those. Um, and I'm eventually going to make my way uh, towards the um, passenger side hood area and fender um, and then basically work it so that I can lift up the vinyl and feed in the vinyl into that channel or that recess that's in the hood there. So I continue to just basically make sure that I'm glassing out the vinyl so that I can more easily apply the vinyl um, without hitting any wrinkles. Um, glassing everything out so it's fairly smooth or nice and smooth which will make the installation easier. Um, what I'm doing there is as I'm squeegeeing, I found a, a couple air bubbles that I got trapped in there. So basically I'm just working those out, squeegeeing them out. This vinyl, uh, like all vivid or most vivid, um, automotive wrap cast vinyl, uh, has air regress in it. And so you just kind of work that out, um, by pressing on it. Worst comes to worst, the, the air won't release out the bubble. You made it so tight on the vinyl. You can just get a poker or a needle and just put like one or two little um, hole, poke one or two little holes in it, and then that will be able to release the vinyl, the air out of that uh, that bubble, and then you can smooth it out from there. Uh, that hole, in conjunction with the air regress that's already built in, will allow you to basically work out that bubble. So I just continue on, as you can see, I'm squeegeeing down uh, along towards the uh, passenger side fender. Once I get to the curved areas of the hood there, you can see that I'm lifting up and glassing it out. Uh, on the flatter part of the hood up there, it's, it's easy because I already glassed it out, so I'm just, I just squeegee it straight down. What I'm doing there is I'm looking for that area where I know the channel is starting to come up, and I want to make sure that I lifted everything up. Uh, I did find a bubble, so I'm just kind of pulling it back there and then letting the air out and then laying the vinyl down. You can see that I have it lifted up right now because I'm, again, just prepping myself uh, to, to work towards that um, deep recess channel in the hood um, and then uh, getting ready to feed that in. And so all I'm doing again, continuing the same exact process as I've been talking this whole time here is I'm giving it, a, giving it some tension to glass it out. Uh, I think I'm already hitting the edge uh, or the ledge of the um, that channel there. You can see those lines, those fingers there where I'm kind of creating a line going up to the back of the, up the hood towards the back passenger um, mirror pointing towards it. So now that I've lifted it up, I am lifting up the vinyl and I'm feeding the vinyl down into the channel versus bridging it 
across the channel top to the other side and then later on pushing the bottle down into the channel which causes which creates a lot of stress uh, and tension uh, in that part which you don't need because it will eventually fail when you do it that way the, ch the recesses in this hood might not look uh, that deep or steep but relative to the amount of vinyl distance that you have to cover to the amount of distance you have to go down into the channel it actually is probably like a 50 percent stretch if you decided to stretch it across over the channel top to the other side of the hood and then stretch it down uh, and I, I bring that up because generally speaking um, you don't want to uh, overstretch the vinyl too much more than about 10 percent um, that you would actually lay down and apply so you could stretch it you know even more than 10 percent get it to what you need but then you'll have to heat shrink it back so that the stretch is no more than generally 10 percent or not at all you you probably have heard of people talking about how vinyl wrap is a lot like shrimp wrap, shrink wrap where you'll pull and stretch something but then you give it some heat and it shrink wraps itself around whatever it is you were wrapping um, that's a, uh, a fairly accurate analogy it's it's not quite a hundred percent technically correct it's not shrink wrap per se uh, but it does have some shrinking uh, properties and if you set it up properly it will wrap around um, so the surface that you are doing for example uh, corners say on your fenders or on your um, on the tips of the hood towards the back side where it meets the windshield all right so just continuing on I'm gonna get a little bit of heat now because I've gone as far as I can without it um, you can see all those wrinkles starting to kind of bunch up a little bit so I'm lifting up the vinyl giving it some heat and just relaxing it a little bit there so that I can apply it better I'm not really pulling on it anymore I give it some heat so it relaxes and kind of goes back to its original state um, I do give it just a touch of tension so that um, it does glass out a little bit but I am definitely not pulling it because I again I don't want to overstretch the vinyl so continuing on making sure everything's laid down checking that um, where I fed the vinyl into that recess I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat here to make sure that I did get everything the heat will cause any trapped bubbles that I can't see right away the air in those bubbles will expand then I'll be able to find those bubbles hitting the area where I was laying down past the channel in front of the channel using the heat gun basically to find um, any trapped air bubbles that I may have missed during the application getting those and addressing those right away alright so continue on as you can see I'm, I found a bubble there so I'm just working it away applying heat to the rest of the areas that I just laid down from that center part of the hood over um, if I recall I did find a few bubbles that were trapped uh, so uh, you'll see me addressing those as I find them again the heat is causing the bubbles to show themselves so then I can address it in this case because I wanted to go a little bit faster to find that I do have the heat on high and I am moving the heat gun around pretty quickly um, I did speed up the video a little bit to I think one and a half times speed but I am moving the heat gun a lot just to make sure that I don't leave it in one's place concentrate the heat in one particular area and then um, burn the vinyl or melt the vinyl so what I'm doing there is I'm trying to set up my corners I'm trying to set everything up in preparation for cutting and I'm also double checking again that other recess that I just did I'm giving it some heat now and smoothing out I have put on my wrap glove to help slide and then what I'm doing is I'm heating the uh, area where the hood ends and then the vinyl stretches or not stretches is laid across onto the fender side uh, and then I'm and then goes over onto the fender and so I'm heating it up and I'm just smoothing out to define that line right there so now I'm going doing essentially the same thing towards the hood front edge where the vinyl starts to droop over the edge of the edge of the hood there I reached a part where there's some fingers um, and so I just lifted it up got rid of those fingers uh, by massaging the mouth smoothing it down um, and that ensures that there's no tension because I lifted it up heated it let it relax and then just smoothed it down without pulling on it and thus not giving it any tension so I'm continuing along the front of the hood there 
I'm reaching a curved point area there, so I'm just kind of addressing it. Um, and then you can see I'm heating and smoothing, heating and smoothing, uh, lifting and smoothing down if I need to, heating and smoothing. And all this is basically to make sure that I've got the vinyl to the edge of the hood and I'm draping it over the edge of the hood a little bit and then rolling it a little bit under the edge of the hood there as well. This is all in preparation to um, cut the vinyl here uh, in a few minutes. So now I'm going up the other side, uh, and again, as I find things in the in the vinyl, I'm addressing it. As you can see, I found some bubbles when the heat hit it there, so I was addressing it. I'm making sure that I have a nice, smooth, clean um, layover where the vinyl goes off the edge of the hood onto across the gap between the hood and the fender, and then onto the fender. And all I'm doing is smoothing all that out to make a good, uh, solid line um, and cleaning up any tension that may be uh, in that area as well. So continue on, I'm at the hood top, I'm at the top back of the fender there, and I'm heating it a little bit so that it will relax and, and basically fall down over the back of the fender. And then with my thumb, you can see sort of that uh, after I heated it and the, vault and the vinyl fell down over the back, I was using my thumb to smooth it around the edge, that back edge of the bumper. So I made it about two-thirds or halfway to two-thirds on that side of the, of the hood and so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this side where I'm heating it letting the vinyl fall down and then rolling it over with my wrap club and smoothing it making sure that I have full coverage covering the back lip of that um, bumper there all right so now I'm getting my knife um, and I'm snapping off a, uh, one of the blades so that I have a nice fresh super sharp knife and then because I rolled it over I'm able to you can see the angle I'm basically putting the blade underneath the back side of the hood there and so I'm using the side the flat side of the blade the non-cutting side pressed up against the upper inner side of the hood there as my guide and then sliding the sliding that blade along the top inner edge of the hood using the hood as my guide um, to make that cut and because I rolled it over and cleaned it up and smoothed it off it's nice and it's a nice clean smooth cut so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut uh, on the fender side and I have it straight down so the side of my blade the flat side of my blade is pushing against the inner side of the fender using that as my guide and it makes it a nice that acts as a guide for my knife to make it a nice clean straight cut so same thing, uh, finishing off the back side of the hood there where I have the blade basically underneath the hood edge there, um, but the flat side pressed up against the upper inner edge inside of that hood there, which will then guide my, guide my blade as I cut it. So I'll pull out that strip that I just cut, and you can kind of see there that I'm leaving a little bit excess vinyl at the top corners of the hood there, and then I'm going down the fender, again cutting on using the fender side as my guide to make that cut. All right, so I did that, peeling off the excess vinyl there, and then trimming it off, and I'm leaving a little bit of excess, like a tab of excess vinyl. You can't really see it from this angle. Tab of excess vinyl at the uh, corner of the hood top there. So now I'm at the bottom front, and what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the vinyl is rolled around the front edge of the hood there so that I can basically do the, do pretty much the same thing where I'll run the, the blade essentially underneath the inner edge of the hood there. And so I'm going back and making sure that I do have the vinyl rolled over the front edge of the hood and tucked in and under a little bit so that it has full coverage over the edge of the hood there. And I can then cut underneath and it will leave enough vinyl rolled over the edge of the hood so that none of the original hood paint color is showing. Essentially making sure there's full coverage before I cut and trim um, off the excess vinyl. So I'm just going back again. I did a little bit and now I'm just really setting it up, make sure everything's tucked nicely so that I can uh, make sure it looks like it's a nice, good, clean um, coverage and cut. So I'm taking a little bit extra, more extra time than um, maybe some other folks would, uh, but again, I'm just trying to make sure that I am set up properly and will be able to make everything look nice and good and nice and clean. It's my own car, so I do give myself a little allowance to kind of be, if I, 
I'm a little sloppy or mess something up. I'm like, eh, whatever. If it's somebody else's car, definitely take the time to do it. Do it nicely and do it right. Um, just do a good job. Uh, so even though this is my own car, I am still trying to do that because I do want to make it look nice and clean uh, and presentable and uh, be able to, when people ask, oh, hey, how'd you do that? Or it looks really good. I mean, there's there's a there's something to be said and you get a good feeling when somebody compliments your work and notices that you did a good job uh, particularly if you took a little bit of extra time to do a good job so now what i'm doing is i'm addressing the corner where i had basically molded the vinyl around the corner and i heated it so that it would then kind of shrink around that corner and then i cut underneath of it if you had, if you saw there um underneath the corner and then down the side and so now there's a smaller corner there that I basically did the same thing I molded it around that corner heated it and it basically shrunk itself down and around that corner and so I'm setting up another corner you can see I'm working to film around the corner there um, and then start to trim underneath the corner and out towards the flat sides underneath so I'm just continuing the trim along the front part of the hood there now that I've gone past that part there, kind of like on the back side, I have the blade uh, flat side basically up and underneath the hood edge there. And I'm using the hood edge as my guide, working my way over to the next corner there. And I'm going to stop before I actually hit the corner. And I'm going to basically work the vinyl around that corner there. You can see I'm kind of just molding around the corner there. I gave it a little bit of heat to soften it up. That area actually is, was under pretty much no tension since I had taken it out already. Now that I worked it around, I touched it with a little bit of heat there to make sure that it's good to go and shrunk around the corner. And I'm just kind of shaping it more nicely. And then what I'm going to do now is cut right underneath the corner tip itself and head towards the inside of the, the center of the hood and then to the out. And then same thing with that more shallow corner and then work my way up to the other one there. Now I'm at another corner, and so I'm just cutting off a little bit of excess that I don't need, and I'm going to heat it up to warm it up the edge there, work that vinyl around that corner tip there, heat it to shrink it around it. Once it's shrunk and still a little bit soft and malleable, use my squeegee to make sure that the corner does look nice and clean, and then cut underneath the corner, starting at the underneath the apex of the corner, and then work out all the way out to the flat. So there you go. Now I've got that all cut nicely, nice and cleanly. And I'll just have to go back, hit it with some heat, and then roll the edges with my finger to make sure everything is sealed down. So now I have to address the two top corners towards the top uh, back side of the hood. And these are a little, a little bit more complicated than it can be because right now the hood's closed. So you're trying to work around a corner that is being blocked by the fender, and it's kind of flat, so it's harder to work around. But you can still do it. Just basically give it a, what I'm doing is giving it just a kiss of heat to make it soft and malleable. Molding that corner. I stretched it over the corner, hooked it on. Now I'm just giving a little bit of heat to mold it around a little better. And then hit, kissing it with heat again to shrink it, essentially shrink wrap it, in this case, um, around the corner. Um, in this particular case, I, I believe I got that ready. And so I'm cutting underneath the corner and trimming that away. So that's what I'm doing there. You can see I'm kind of cutting directly underneath the corner there and then maneuvering my blade out, out to the sides towards the fender. And then once I've got that, you can see I'm kind of just making sure the vinyl is molded around, giving it some heat there to make sure everything's set and see if anything pulls back, which it didn't. So now on to the next corner. And essentially it's going to be the same process where I will stretch and mold the, mold the vinyl around the corner, you can, which is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to get it with a little bit of heat to shrink it around that corner. And then I'm going to, while it's still soft and it's shrunk down, just make sure it's molded around nicely a little bit more. Hit it with some heat just to make sure everything's good to go. Shape it a little bit better if I need to. Once I'm satisfied, it's ready to go. Then I will cut, and basically I'm cutting and I am push pushing my knife, if you will, directly underneath the the apex or the point of the corner, underneath of it, so that the corner tip is still fully covered, and then cutting out towards the flat sides 
of the of the hood towards the fender side and then uh, towards the center of the uh, back center of the hood there so that's what I'm doing there I know it's hard to see because the camera's so far away then I'm gonna hit it with heat one more time make sure that everything is set nicely okay so now that I finished cutting or um, molding there that last corner there in the hood um, I'm just taking a little bit of extra time here to give it a post heat give all those edges a little quick post heat in preparation not post heat excuse me give it a heat so that it relaxes and falls down over the edges there and I'm smoothing down the edges um, same thing here and uh, smoothing those edges down so I can tuck them in or get them ready to, to be tucked in and under. I did give it a little bit of extra um, vinyl by on the fender side there for example by cutting across the uh, on the fender side which gives it about maybe an eighth of an inch quarter inch roughly of extra vinyl that I will then pop the hood and make sure that it is tucked underneath so I'm going to go pop the hood right now Prop it up and then so I'm going to adjust the camera here so you can see what I'm doing now. So because I do have a little bit of extra vinyl on the sides in particular, I'm going to give it a little heat. Again, I already got it rolled over, started to roll over edge and now what I'm doing is I'm sealing that over. Now I can dress the underside of those corners there. I make sure I heat it and seal it down nice and tight. Same thing along the front edges there, around those corner tips there. Um, the heat helps relax it and again Vivid is a heat activated film so that also helps um, make their adhesive uh, a little bit stronger if you will by grabbing on um, a little bit more and so again giving it some heat to relax it over and then pressing it down with my with my uh, fingers and palm and and what have you there so basically I've got that rolled under and sealed Um, I forgot to put the camera down. I apologize. So basically I'm just taking my squeegee and making sure that the front edge of the hood uh, is tucked in nicely. You can't really, um, because of the way the hood is set up, that front silver piece of the hood is actually part of the hood. So it's actually tucked in between the silver trim there and the front. So now that I remember to move the camera, here we go. This hood is done. So I'm popping it off the tripod, we'll do a quick walk around so you can see that everything is tucked in nicely in the edges. There's my corners, nice and molded around each of the corners there. You can see the pattern kind of shifting in the light there. That's uh, one of the things about it. Um, I did notice that as I applied it, you can kind of see the repeating square pattern there, which... Um, that's okay. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but it looks kind of neat regardless in my opinion. Some like it, some won't. Um, it does have a cool color shifting effect or a color, not color, but light shifting effect, excuse me. So going to the other side, taking a look at that corner and the back side there, you can see because I took a little extra time to roll it over the edge, it looks like the whole hood is made of this um, camouflage pattern. All right, guys, so hopefully this walkthrough um, was helpful for you if you're looking to do a hood. This one took a little bit longer than typical. I have sped it up, and uh, actual install time was probably close to about uh, 40 minutes versus the 30-something that it's taken. But that also includes sh um, shifting or shaping the, the vinyl and such. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.